Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the ships of naval action. Today we are taking a look at another Russian vessel. We're taking a look at the Saint Pavel or uh, the Saint Paul in English or uh, Sviatoy Pavel in uh, Russian apparently. So the Saint Pavel or the Pavel as I will refer to her from now on because just for brevity. She is uh, a ship of the line, 82 gun uh, ship of the line. She uh, was built in 1794 uh, for the Russian Navy and uh, as a consequence of being built in 1794, a few years later, there would be a certain Napoleon who would uh, do his thing, you know? So, she was the flagship of a Vice Admiral Fyodor F. Ushakov in the Black Sea and uh, she would take part in uh, some uh, joint operations in the Mediterranean with the British and the Turkish as well. So, she uh, would uh, be uh, doing operations at the islands of uh, Sirego, Sente, Caplono and St. Mauro, as well as the Corfu Fortress, where she would uh, do some blo blockading of uh, French fortifications. Um, she would uh, also take part in landings, capturing of those fortifications where they would get a lot done. Later, in uh, June 3, 1799, uh, Russian troops, uh, together with Naples, would uh, liberate Naples. Troop, Napoli's troops would liberate Naples. And uh, the Pavel was uh, in the area. Where later, after this uh, whole operation done, in September, she would uh, leave set course for Malta to assist the English Navy to help capturing Malta. Um, yeah, they uh, did some stuff there. The, the British weren't too happy with a quick strengthening of a Russian force in the Mediterranean, so the British didn't really want to help the Russian Navy. However, Vice Admiral Nelson, you might recognize him, and uh, the commander, I forget his name, would come to an agreement and uh, they would uh, send a small Russian squadron to Egypt uh, to help out um, certain uh, Mr. Nelson, who would of course be very famous at the Battle of the Nile. Although I don't believe any sh Russian ships were present at the Battle of the Nile, but the Russians were present, you know, in the Mediterranean around this time period. And uh, in uh, 1810, she was uh, taken out of service in the Russian Navy and uh, that's basically her history very short she didn't have too long of a history 20 years less than 20 years even 16 years didn't take part in any major naval battles but she is a significant ship of the line she's an 82 gunner after all and that is a perfect segue for uh, the Pavel in naval action so 82 guns as I mentioned on her gun deck she has 42 pound cannons or on her bottom gun deck rather on her middle gun deck, she has 24 pound cannons. On her um, weather deck, I guess we'll call it, she has 12 pound cannons or 24, uh, 42 pound carronades. And on her uh, quarter deck, she has 6 pound cannons or 18 pound carronades. So the guns on the quarter deck, don't bother with them. There's only four of them, which honestly it isn't that much. It won't make any difference, and at least personally, it completely messes with the aim. So uh, I avoid uh, the guns on the quarter deck. 18 pound carronades, 6 pound cannons, they don't really do much anyways and there's only 4 of them. So uh, bottom gun deck, middle gun deck and the weather deck, that's what I stick with. She also has uh, 2 stern chasers, no bow chasers sadly. Stern chasers consisting of either 9 pound cannons or 68 pound carronades. In that case, I wouldn't bother at all with uh, 9 pound cannons. Stern chasers I usually stick with carronades anyways. So, uh, the, the Pavel, well, in naval action, she is a great ship. She is uh, decently fast for her size. Um, she is, I don't like how she looks, I will admit. Uh, she, she isn't, I'm not going to call her a bad looker, but she isn't an amazing looker. Um, her lack of bow chasers, I'm not a fan of it either. However, she is a second rate, which means she has heavy armament, heavy defenses. She has uh, pretty good hull armor. You know, she is a big ship, she has a decent amount of crews, 800 men, again, second rate, so uh, you can just uh, shove all those men in there. It's uh, almost the same crew as the Victory, and Victory is significantly bigger. 
So, uh, the Pavel, she is a solid ship. She is a second raider. That's uh, all I really have to say about her. So, I do hope you all enjoyed this quick video on the Saint Pavel. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.